hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just gonna do a quick what's in my hospital bag video um just so that you guys can kind of see the type of things that i brought to the hospital or i'm bringing to the hospital um for my son to be born uh, this is my second baby, so I'm not bringing as much stuff as I thought I would or um, as much stuff as I brought with my first baby because I realized that I didn't need as much stuff as I actually brought. Um, so with that being said, I'm just going to show you guys what's in here. I'm actually kind of going to unpack and repack because this is the bag I was going to bring it in. Actually, I think I might be able to just keep everything in here everything really fits in here i was gonna bring two bags but i don't feel like that's necessary the only reason i think i might want to bring two bags is because i want to bring my laptop and stuff like that too and a couple things just for myself to keep myself occupied if it is a long labor so i think i might do that and i might just use this um diaper bag here this is cami's diaper bag which she doesn't really use anymore because she's two and we really, really don't use a diaper bag anymore so um i'm gonna kind of like go through what's in this bag and the kind of things I just picked out to bring with me here and we'll go ahead and just like separate them out because I think I will need two bags. Um, this bag is from Amazon. My mom just bought it and I'll link it down below. This one is also from Amazon. They're both really, really nice diaper bags. This one was really nice. It held a lot of things. It had a lot of apartments. It's a cooler in the front and I mean, I used it up until Cammy stopped using the diaper bag. So. Um, we got that and then this one is really nice. It's very pretty. It has a, like a USB thing on the inside. So yeah, let's get into the video. So I'll just go from like the top and down. Um, so it's not any particular order. Um, but the first thing that I have in here is this. This is just a pair of um, footy socks. They're white and they have like the non-slip things at the bottom so that you don't fall. I actually got these from Five Below and they're just really warm comfortable socks so it's something that i feel like you really want when you're in the hospital just because you get cold and stuff and because you're walking around on the hospital floor so sometimes you might not want to wear like shoes or like you could bring little things like crocs or flip-flops or something but these are really nice too if your feet are cold and you just want to walk around like if you have to go somewhere in there so i have that and then i just have a long sleeved shirt because i get really cold and i like to sleep in long sleeve shirts um even if I have a blanket and everything, I like to wear a long sleeve. And then along with that, I just have some gray sweatpants, like the ones I'm actually wearing now. This <laughs> from the waist down is literally very casual, but just some extra ones. I got these ones because they were really cheap. I got these at five below too, because the ones I have on now, I really like, and I don't want to ruin them. And you do bleed after um, you have a baby. So I don't want to have any chances of like getting blood or anything on my new or like my favorite sweatpants so I just got these ones they were really cheap they were literally like five dollars from five below and then I in addition to that I have just some gowns and these are actually the same ones that I took to the hospital with um when I went into labor with Cami. they're literally just like fitted gowns they're not like tight but they're like form-fitting so you don't feel like super ugly in them like um because your body's like looking really weird but they're like they're not tight at all so they just fit to your body they feel really nice that one's a little more fitted than this one but they're really comfortable and um it's not you know you don't have to worry about getting them ruined or anything so i just have these two little gowns that i can wear in the hospital so i'll probably wear those while i'm there um like laboring and stuff and then the sweatpants and stuff i'll probably wear at home because i don't really care about looking cute on the way home um <laughs> And then on the side pockets, um, I have some toiletries and stuff. So I brought just a bar of Dove white soap, like the white beauty bar soap, just one of those. Um, I brought two wash towels, just white wash towels. And this is like a scrubby, like a exfoliating cloth. So I brought that for myself. And then this is for me and whoever ends up coming with me to the hospital. Um, so I have that in there. And then to the next pocket, I just brought two of these, which is for me and whoever is going to be at the hospital. Because I didn't want to have to worry about like, let's say I'm out and about, and then I didn't have something like this. I didn't want to have to be like, I need to stop getting a toothbrush or I need to go home and get a toothbrush. So this gives each of us a toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, 
really simple. Um, I most of the stuff I just grabbed at Five Below or Walmart because they have like the travel size section. And so these are really good. So there's two of them. Um, I brought a men's degree and a women's dove. I personally like wearing men's deodorant, but I can also use this. It's just whatever one we want to use, we can use. I just got two different kinds um, of deodorant. So we have deodorant, we have toothpaste, to mouthwash, um, soap. I brought this face mask that I was given. I don't know if I would like it. I've never used it before, but I thought maybe like since I'm in the hospital and when you give birth afterwards, like that first shower is just so nice. You don't feel that great. You're feeling like just kind of gross kind of. So I brought this so maybe it'll help me relax after the baby's born and I can just do something for myself and just chill out a little bit. So um, this is just there just in case I want to use it. I also have hand sanitizer. Obviously it's a hospital, so they have hand sanitizer. But I brought this just in case, like even if it's just like on the way home, if I have to stop and or whatever the case may be. I usually always have hand sanitizer anyways, um, whether it's my purse, my work bag or anything. So why not put it in your diaper bag? And let's see, I have this Avita body wash. So you guys, if you have seen my hygiene routine i will link it in the like little thing above but you know i like to use my bar soap my dove bar soap and then a body wash this isn't the body wash i usually use i'm not really particular on body washes just something that smells good um but i have i brought this so that i can wash up afterwards and I actually i actually really like the way that smells i might start, i might start getting this like on a normal day to day basis i like that a lot actually <laughs> But um, yeah, so I got this from the Walmart travel section. It's just a daily, daily moisturizing body wash. So it's for dry skin. I don't have dry skin, but obviously I can still use it. And I'm sure it'll work fine. And then last but not least in the um, that little section of things, I got this Gold Bond Radiance Renewal um, Lotion. I actually have this in my house, um, the full size bottle, but I didn't want to pack that in there because obviously I use it. And I don't want to have to worry about anything needing to get packed last minute. So I just got a travel size one for me and whoever is at the hospital um, so that we're not ashy and dry. And then I also put in here my Polaroid camera so that I could take pictures of the baby. It has batteries, it has film. Kimmy and I used some of the film, but there's still seven pictures left. So I have this and I, this is something I wish I would have brought to the hospital when I had Cami because I forgot to pack it and I didn't get any pictures of her. And if you like, I have a lot of Polaroids of her from the years from her growing up, but none from her, my labor and delivery. So I want to take this so I can just get some nice Polaroids of us in the hospital. Um, so that's there and I'm fighting to keep Cami from touching it because she keeps taking random pictures with it so i have that and then the last thing i have in here are his clothes i tried to like pack them kind of like together because i put them in like outfits so i got this little pajamas for him to sleep in and i paired it with this hat even though it's not the same color i think they still go good together um just this little thing and i think it's so cute everything i brought is a newborn so i didn't do any like um Preemies because I don't expect him to be preemie because I'm 37 weeks now and I'm sure even if he comes now he'd be able to wear this. Um, and then also I have um, no zero to three months, uh, so hopefully he fits in the newborn. I'm pretty sure he will. But um, this is the little pajamas I bought for him. And with this, um, I'm just gonna fold the hat into it. But with that I brought. Let me see if I can find it. I tried to keep them all together, but it's kind of hard because it's in a bag. But obviously, I can separate them on there. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. I might have not even packed it, but there's just some gloves that would go with that. But um, after that, I brought this little outfit. It's just some gray pants with a gray shirt. It's one of the cross shirts it's really cute so i brought this with this and then along with that i just brought a um little gray and white hat 
with some striped mittens and striped um, socks. So everything's just gray. And that is in one outfit that I brought for him. I don't know how many outfits he's actually gonna need because obviously they provide you with clothes at the hospital. And then also, I don't know with COVID how long you stay. I don't know if you stay the same amount of time. I don't know if I have to have a C-section. Ho like, hopefully, like, praise, like, I'm praying to the Lord that I don't have to have a C-section. But in the case that I do have to have one, I would like to have enough things for him to wear. And the last thing is this little suit. And I think this is what, what he's gonna wear at home. It's just like a um, hoodie with a onesie in the, in the inside. It says hug and it says love and cuddly. Oh, well, hug and it says verb love and cuddles. And then the matching pants to go with it. Just a striped hat, even though it's not the same color, I really, you know, it really doesn't matter. And then just some socks. And I could have swore I had, I could have sworn I had mittens to go with that too. So I'm not sure what I did with all his mittens. Um, so I'll be repacking his mittens because I don't know what happened to them. I, gotta, I thought I packed them all, but um, I'm gonna put some mittens with the pajamas and then with this outfit. So um, we'll get that packed here soon. And then the last things that I have, just a couple more things. I have this muslin blanket. It's really, really thin and um, breathable. So Cammy used to get really hot. And so this is really thin. So I can wrap him up in this and swaddle him or just cover up his car seat or whatever on the way out or you know, whatever the case may be. And it's not super thick to where he's gonna be hot. Even though it's kind of cold um, right now anyways. So I'm sure he wouldn't get hot. But I do, I did like these a lot when I, when I was wrapping Cami, and they're stretchy, so it makes it easy to wrap them. But then as well, I also have an actual swaddle, um, and I got these. I got actually a pack of these. They're all different prints, but they're like the same color and kind of like theme. And then also a pack of these swaddles for him from Amazon. So this one is kind of just like you put the baby in, and then you wrap their arms like this. And so I'll link the swaddles and the muslin blankets down below. Um, so you can get that on Amazon if you like. And then I also got this off of Amazon and it's just the Bibs brand of binkies. They're just the neutral colored binkies. Um, so just in case, I don't know, Cammy didn't really like binkies like this shape. She kind of liked the ma'am, ma'am binky, like M-A-M. She liked those, but I got these ones for him just in case, because I like these ones, they're really cute. Um, and I will link those on down below too from Amazon. Um, but if he doesn't like these, I'll try the Mams one, which when I was in the hospital with Cammy, they gave me uh, a newborn one that was Mams and she really liked that. So I have this. And then the only other things, I have a couple of things that I'm gonna bring in addition to this stuff like a nursing bra, um, I'll bring a nursing bra. Obviously I'll bring some underwear, stuff like that. Um, that's just a couple of last minute things that I haven't purchased yet. Um, well, I have a couple of nursing bras, but I haven't put them um, in here yet. And then, but we're planning on grabbing a couple more. So I'm gonna put his stuff in here and I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff in here so that my laptop and we're gonna bring a couple books. I'm gonna bring my planner because I feel like I cannot function without my planner. Um, little stuff like that my my uh, prenatals I take the um, I'll grab them well no I'll, I won't grab them I take the prenatals calcium and probiotic from um, care of so I'll put my care of vitamins in here and they're just coming in a little packet so I'll probably pack like two or three of those so I can take them while I'm there because you are supposed to still take prenatals while you're breastfeeding so I'll continue to take those throughout my stay in the hospital and I'll be taking them for like however long I do continue to breastfeed my son. Hopefully I can do it for like a year, um, at least like I did Cami. So I'll get my nursing bras, my underwear. I'll be having my laptop, which I'm using now, so that's not in here. My laptop charger. I'm gonna put an extra charger in here today that I don't need to have around the house so that I have a charger in here at all times. Um, so I don't even have to worry about bringing a charger in um and then my planner and a couple of like book like a book and a, a journal because i like to have those things with me every day so that kind of gets me through the day and so yeah 
other than that, I'm debating. I don't think I should bring any diapers because when I was in the hospital and I had candy, they gave plenty of diapers, plenty of wipes, uh, what is it, uh, diaper rash cream, all those types of the creams and things that you think you will need. Unless you have a specific brand, you could bring them, um, but they typically have it. And then even with me, the first time I brought uh, my own soap and stuff for them to use on her, but I feel like it, I don't think it's that necessary. So I'm okay with them using like the Johnson one in the hospital. Cause when I come home, I don't use Johnson. Um, they don't put any baby powder on her, but they did use the wash and lotion and I, it was fine. Um, I didn't mind it. So I'll go ahead and just use that. And then when I come home, I'll start to use what I typically like to use is the um, Shea Moisture Baby. That's my favorite. It smells really good. Kimmy Skin never got sensitive to it. She was sensitive to a lot of things, but that there smelled really good. Everyone always complimented me on how good my baby smelled. And um, her skin was always so soft. And I also use like coconut oil on her and in her hair. So those things I will use at home. So I don't really feel the need to bring diapers, wipes, creams, soap and stuff. Cause you're gonna get plenty of that at the hospital now. If you're like totally against using a certain brand, I bring your own because they do use Johnson at the hospital. I personally am okay with them using that at the hospital even if I don't continue to use it afterwards. But um, yeah, other than that, that's everything I think I'm gonna be bringing to the hospital. I might end up tweaking a couple things, like adding a couple things if I think of anything that would make it a little bit more convenient. Oh, I know I'm going to bring my um, boppy pillow. So my nursing pillow I will bring that makes it really easier like a lot easier for you to um, nurse your baby so I'll bring that um, but that won't be in the bags I'll just have to carry that and um, other than that I think that's everything so hopefully this helped um, if there's anything that you feel like I should bring that I didn't mention and I might have forgot about or just didn't think about go ahead and comment it down below and let me know of any things that would like help me to be more comfortable or be more prepared that there's something else that you brought that made it easier for you but other than that i hope you guys have a great day i hope you guys are enjoying these videos i'm going to do a lot more videos with like baby stuff and family stuff i'm about to become a mommy of two very soon i am due in the next 20 days so i hope you guys enjoy keep watching my videos Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to hit the bell notification so that you are notified every time I post a new video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.